<laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Wolf Monster. <laughs> and today we are going to be doing Taste Test Tuesday. So what is that, you might ask? Well, today scary we for me. actually <laughs> made chowder. What do we call this? Um, it's ham and corn and potato chowder. Okay, and so I am going to show you after the intro video how to actually make this. And then this portion, we're going to go ahead and rate how good it tastes. So we're kind of doing a Mythbuster thing today where is it is just as good or is it better the next day after 24 hours has passed it sat in the fridge and you warmed it up so what we're going to do today is we're going to taste it we're going to rank it between one and ten of how we think it is today and then tomorrow we're going to tell you what we think it tastes like the next day I'm tasting. i'll go first so i'm going to say <laughs> this is a solid seven one of the better chowders that we do or anything out of the instant pot where we did the chili recipe last week, I would give that a five. I made that solely myself, so I'm not insulting anyone. Not the best thing in the world, but it gets the job done. So what do you think it tastes like right now, straight out of the Instant Pot? What's the scale? One to 10. And 10 is? 10 is we went to Hall's Chop House. And one is? We ate at McDonald's. Okay. I give it a five. A five. All right, so in this next segment, we're going to let 24 hours roll by. And I'm going to explain why. <laughs> Actually, yes. <laughs> why would you say it tastes like a five? Because I don't love soups that much. Okay. But it does taste good for being one. Okay, you want to express what you taste in there, I guess? I taste spices and corn and ham and potato. All right. So you got the quantitative assessment and the qualitative. I'm just going to say it's a seven. So hang out with us 24 hours. We will do this exact same taste test in 24 Which, yes, today is Tuesday. It has been 24 hours. This is sat in the fridge. Just put it in the microwave. Mm -hmm. Your previous um, assessment of the chili was at a five, right? Correct. All right, mine was at a seven. So... We're going to myth bust this thing. I don't think we'll get in trouble for saying that. But anyways, um, we'll go ahead and see what we think today. So 24 hours has been there. Just put it in the microwave for three minutes. It is blistering hot. Probably going to burn my tongue. So let's try it out. Mm. Did you burn your tongue? Nope. It's wonderful. So yesterday I gave it a 7. I'll give it a 7.7 .7 today because I can taste more salt, cream. You're going to be out of focus that far up. That's I think fine. it'll be fine. <laughs> and so, yeah, I do think it tastes just a little bit better. All qualitative data, you take what you want on it. What do you think? That out. Yep. <laughs> All right, so what do you think? Um, you were at a five yesterday. Taste any better? I don't recall. I think a 5.16. So slightly better. Very slightly. All right. Well, there it is, folks. So from the Wolf Monster's house, we do think it tastes just a slight better than it did the day before. I don't know. Next part, check out the chili recipe or chowder recipe, I guess this is. Try it on your own and see if it works for you. I'll be eating this lunch tomorrow. Hey, thanks for joining.